It's war. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has said he plans to release a trove of documents from a U.S. bank, and he has boasted of having a hard drive from a B of A executive. Now B of A is firing back. Over the weekend, it stopped processing payments to WikiLeaks, a division that underscores the high stakes in the WikiLeaks game and the risks to companies small and large. With us over the phone this morning to discuss B of A's battle with WikiLeaks is Paul Rosenzweig, the former Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy at the Department of Homeland Security. Paul is a visiting fellow at the Heritage Foundation and a law professor at George Washington University. Paul, good morning to you. Uh, given what Julian Assange has claimed about this B of A hard drive, doesn't a decision like this on the part of B of A just highlight the company's vulnerability? Well, indeed it does. Uh, one sort of wonders whether or not Assange has exactly what he says. After all, B of A has a, uh, a very significant compliance department. You'd think that if five gigabytes went missing, they'd notice. But then you thought the U.S. government would notice if 250,000 of its uh, highest cla uh, high classified government cables went missing, too. Uh, yeah, you, you certainly do wonder on, on both fronts. What do you think B of A should be preparing for here? If, in fact, Assange is speaking the truth, we have no idea how senior this executive was, but he said that the documents are going to uh, demonstrate some flagrant, uh, more than unflattering uh, behavior. Uh, what should B of A be preparing for? Well, I think they should be preparing for the release of their internal con confidential communications of the highest levels. And, you know, those are often frank discussions that have uh, a great deal of power inside an organization, but that from the outside without context look poor. It would be as if Assange were inside your meetings each morning deciding what things to put on the show uh, today, right? And and you and he heard your candid assessment of, of uh, various guests and whether or not they'd be interesting or whether or not a particular story had legs, that sort of thing. Right, right, right. Exposing the internal decision-making process, not all of which is necessarily pretty. Uh, Paul, do you think B of A's decision here is consistent with any idea of what WikiLeaks has or no idea at all of what WikiLeaks has? Just sort of, uh, uh, if, if not a random act, uh, something in the order of desperation? Um, I don't think it's either. I mean, I think it's part and parcel of a much larger uh, attempt by uh, the existing system to regain control over the internet and things like WikiLeaks. I mean, it's not it's not an illogical decision. B of A is joining PayPal and Amazon and Mastercard. So, and true, Visa. Uh, Paul. I don't want to interrupt, but that's true. It is joining Amazon. It is joining PayPal, Visa, Mastercard. Mm -hmm. uh, but those companies, so far as we know, do not face the kind of threat that B of A may face. And uh, they acted a little while ago. B of A seems a bit late to the party. And I should add, it's the only bank to have taken this action. Well, it, it, you're, you're right. Uh, they, all the banks are late to the party. Um, I suppose desperation is one way of looking at it. Another way, I guess, would be uh, fighting back, right? I mean, otherwise they are uh, cowed by what is essentially extortion uh, in a very modern form. And then they can't stand that either. That won't work for their business model of banking. So, as you know, on Friday, WikiLeaks tweeted that uh, anybody who loves freedom should close his or her accounts at Bank of America and find a safer place to put your funds. Is that campaign going to work, in your opinion? I, I don't think so. That, that, I think, is the weakest aspect of WikiLeaks' efforts. Their, their do, ability to give out information is very high. Their ability to mobilize large swaths of the public to follow them is pretty modest. Uh, one quick question for you. What does this mean for the rest of corporate America? Well, for the rest of corporate America, it means that you've got to pay a lot of attention to the internal security of your information, information assurance systems. You've got to monitor your insider threats, and you've got to put in place systems to uh, uh, alert on the exfiltration of data, uh, because this is uh, there's going to be a lot of follow-me type people who are doing what WikiLeaks does, even if WikiLeaks stopped tomorrow. All right. Wise advice uh, to those in the corner office. Paul, thanks very much. Paul Rosenzweig from George Washington uh, University Law School with us about the battle between WikiLeaks and Bank of America.